Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, and welcome back to Essentials.tf, where tonight we have some Nations Cup number 12 action from Group F for you. We have the Czech Republic versus Saudi Arabia in their round two match today. My name is Harry. I have Turbo Tabs in the casting booth with me tonight, and Samus is on production. How are you doing tonight, uh, Turbo Tabs? Oh my god, I'm having a midlife crisis. Has it really been 12 Nations Cups? 12? Oh my god, I can but, remember when there was like a, a mere single digit number. Yeah, there's been 10, but yeah, yeah, it's number 10 for sixes, but there have been many for Highlander, so there, it has indeed been quite a while since the first one. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I, I guess the wheel, the wheel just keeps on spinning, the wheel keeps on turning, and uh, Saudi Arabia somehow keeps finding a team together for this <laughs> nation's goal. It, it is quite incredible. Uh, we are the European Team Fortress 2 leagues, but we don't discriminate. Anybody is welcome, even the Americans on occasion. As you mentioned, it is uh, Saudi Arabia uh, playing against the Czech Republic tonight. Um, on the uh, Czech team, we have Jerkas, SNH, we have Lucas, Gedu, Kelhab, and one who doesn't have a name for me, so I'm not exactly sure who isn't being replaced, but it could be Play Grey. Um, and then on the side of the Saudi Arabians, we have Orage, Files, Sento, Hunter, Yusuf, and Pixel. Um, some names that are very well known, some that maybe you will not have seen before. So who you who do you have your eyes ready for for tonight? Uh, I, my favorite of all the juices is orange, so I, I am probably going to keep my eye on orange juice. But I mean, it, it, look, in actual well, you know, to give you serious why man answers, yes, I've seen plenty of the Czech names before. They are very prominent in the TF2 scene. Saudi Arabia, these are kind of unknown quantities. I think these usually keep to themselves generally. I think I've uh, I was expecting maybe a couple of other names I've seen once upon a time in the past, but like I said earlier, the wheel and the world keeps on turning, and maybe they've just moved on, but these players are still here to kind of rock the nation. Indeed they are. I think uh, some obviously we have some really massive names in uh, Gedu and Lucas playing tonight. Some some big Highlander names as well in Jerkas and X Hunter, although uh, Hunter usually plays all the way in RGL in the NA leagues. So definitely big, some big names tonight. Who's your favourite to uh, take this first map of product? Uh, it's looking very much like a David and Goliath situation. Czech have, are going to be certainly punching down, but you know, maybe a team with Saudi Arabia where they've got nothing to lose, everything to gain. It could be a perfect symphony for a nice little story, this nation's. Indeed, it could. Uh, I do have it on good authority. We'll be shortly actually joining the players in the match as they will find their F4 keys at about 90 seconds in the past. Um, Who's your one player that you would uh, look out for? I don't I mean, mind. I mean, you can't go wrong by just literally slapping it on base guard and just <laughs> keeping the camera there. But, you know, I, I want to be surprised tonight, and I genuinely want uh, Saudi to do well. Indeed, uh, I do. I think base guard, as you said, is an excellent pick. But what we do have is a pick class of the sniper. Misha running it for the Czechs. Head out into this first middle. They have two scouts and one soldier the Czechs versus the cookie cutter on the Saudis. No frags coming out quite yet as we have Faisal pressuring the point but getting pushed back by Jerkus as an SNH. The bomb coming in. Sento is straight onto Misha as players are trading out left, right and centre but the Saudi is getting the better uh, of that trade and it's going to be a full wipe by the looks of things for the checks they do manage to get pixel in the aftermath though so the medics will spawn at the same time but saudis with the first cap man have you ever dominated mid so hard that someone disconnects on your team but uh, yeah it was a very very good mid by uh credit to sentu actually immediately jumping in at the st uh, start and dealing with that sniper once the timing was right and that oh, kind of no. was the tipping point for the team to kind of play off that uh, Hunter was just hiding in the corner by Cliff and got the two rockets straight on together and that's going to swing an uber charge advantage now in favour of Pixel but never mind everyone's dying on the side of the Saudi Arabian team and the crits creek's not going to save you and Pixel falls and it's going to be a late death as well which swings the uber charge advantage back in favour of the Czech team. The spawn time is going to be cut in half a pixel due to the cap, but it's a 20% advantage which is going to be nullified once again by that crit squeak. 
Yeah, it does kind of look like uh, Czech Republic have turned their monitors back on and they are trying to raring to go. It, the skirmishes just kind of went their way there and uh, and base guard had nobody uh, watching his godliness, so he just kind of styled on them. Yeah, with two frags quickly going that way, Demo Man finding the trap but it's going to get detonated onto him and that's going to be three quick frags for the Saudi Arabian side that they lose and the Czechs are just going to hold strong, losing no one with the Uber charge versus Kritzkrieg. It's looking like they're setting up a forward hold, ready for the long game here. I wasn't sure if that was like an attempt of a suicide wave, but it wasn't really well coordinated. Everyone was just taking bad fights, basically. And now, uh, and also they lost somebody to a trap early on to vote Lucas, who's getting pressured now. Yeah, Yusuf's really weak. The demo man just going to get cleaned up by Kelhab there. And that's going to be the first frag once again going the way of the checks. And with full Uber charge versus full crits crew, we know the way this usually goes. But it's going to be a quick frag onto a couple of the Czech players, Jerkas and Base God or Lucas just going down. Pixel is going to be caught out and so are the rest of his team. But it started off uh, really well for the Czechs and it almost swung back in favour of the Saudis, but not quite there. So I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to pull out a sniper. When things go awry, you can always just kind of trust your sniper instincts to bail you out. But when they're holding forward like that, it's very hard for the sniper to do work. And not only that, they knew that they had the uber advantage over on the Czech team. So once they saw that medic uh, pop out from Pixel, they just had to pop into him and just clean him up to keep that advantage alive. Yeah, Jerk actually going down quickly there. Orange is going to be traded out. Five versus five now for the Saudis. No Ubers in play. The Saudis are back onto that stock Uber charge. The soldiers are going to be bombing in from both teams. Hunter and Kelhab are going to trade out. The sniper on the side of Misha is not going to find anything for now. But uh, it's going to be the cap now swinging back in favor of the Saudi team that they lose a late death of both of their soldiers and a scout. It's not looking good for them here. Yeah, if they're losing out on fights, it's only because they've got uh, Misha on Sniper a bit, who's kind of redeemed himself now, uh, getting some kills on the board in that overextension from the Saudi team. And uh, there's someone got dropped during all the Uber exchanging now, and it's a bit awkward here for Saudis as they're just going to get kind of ran over by these scout advantages. Yeah, speaking of an overextension, we have Orange going on to the point, not able to be flashed by his medic out of that range of Pixel, not quite able to save his teammate, and it just went downhill from there. Pixel dies, and it's going to be a 40% Ubercharge advantage now for Gedu. Misha still on the sniper, no sniper on, as I say that. Saudi is picking up the sniper rifle. Once again, it's Orange on that sniper class as they roll out towards Glyph. They're going to have to find something with this uh, sniper here, I imagine, as they try to pressure in both scouts hunter has gone from soldier onto that scout class trying to get some ca um, cap time here as we have the saudis bombing forward sento the only soldier not going to find anything as he gets denied by jerkas and yusef is going to die to a second trap this round but they do manage to get the force uh yeah that is a positive outlook on uh how to go about it they kind of were a bit fragmented i don't think if they even needed to use the uber during all of that they just felt a bit proactive over on the check team i mean there's only a few seconds left realistically so maybe just popping in and keeping things super secure was the better play for the checks and i mean the just the questionable jumps from saudi arabia kind of going in alone from sento yeah sento is trying to make some space there i think possibly trying to get an early force but was just denied by the scouts the two scouts just shooting him out of the air and that's gonna be the first round on the board to the check so Saudis with a pretty strong start but not able to back it up now it's Sento picking up that sniper rifle they're unsure of who they want on the class but Misha is definitely the Czech's man with the gun as we have two scouts for both sides both pressuring by the box on the side of the Czech Republic we do have spam coming in Jerk has put down weak the soldier of ex-hunter being brought down low after bombing he is gonna have to bomb out we have Faisal S and H training out so it's gonna be one scout down on each side sniper headshots ringing out with Lucas Ooh. going down and it's gonna be advantage to the Saudi Arabia <laughs> team as Misha loses the sniper versus sniper Sento with two picks on the mid and that's gonna just win them that first first cap straight up yeah this is the advantage of having a sniper that is also the soldier class. Soldier's not really as valued on a uh, product as, say, like scouts. So it feels pretty powerful if uh, for your combo or your blob to have those two scouts and a uh, soldier kind of taking out the equation. And the sniper is kind of a natural counter to the sniper as well. So missing that roaming soldier doesn't hurt as bad. Yeah, the Uber's actually forced really early 
here we have a trade coming out and it's just gonna be two going down quickly for the Saudi Arabian team they do manage to trade out for Kelhab so it is gonna be a four versus five in the situation but with worth sports it's definitely advantage to the checks here as we have two dropping down pixels just gonna run for his life going to just about make it out by the seams of things and it does mean that the Czechs are going to be able to cap this up they do extend Jerkas's spawn timer but with only 45 seconds off the hook equal uber charge situation pretty much actually it's a pretty healthy advantage for ghetto here I don't know how that happened yeah uh, I think just maybe not prioritizing the caps too much it's, it should be fine it's about just all about that con initial control of oh. the Czech Republic and they do get the pixel kill and with no medic that he's uh, players should be kind of mince meat for poor Saudi Arabia on uh, usually the best time to kind of spend your health at this point is just to jump the enemy medic yeah, with that full Uber charge advantage coming up for the Czech Republic, uh, it's going to be a tough ask for the Saudi Arabian team to find anything other than just a force by sacking in players. They are just healing up by the looks of things. Fizer's going to take a fight too early though, and that's going to be an opening frag, and Sento loses the sniper versus sniper, so it's a 6 versus 4. Hunter goes down to a trap, and they're just feeding players here, even though they're just waiting for their Uber charge. Yeah, and what's worse is if they spot the Pixel, they can just chase him out with a Scout Uber. There's not really and They've used the Uber. They just want to kill Orange Juice, I suppose. I'm not sure why they have to use Uber there, but maybe just playing greedy. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Ghetto was 126 health, so not able to be one-shot by the Scattergun, which is a maximum of 105. So, a bit of an odd choice there, but I feel they're probably feeling quite confident, so they're not worrying about it too much, as we have a headshot ringing out onto Misha by Sento, as we have Hunter now bombing in, trying to pick up that frag. Indeed, he does. That's going to be a strong frag there. Orange is going to get traded out for it, though, so it's a 5 versus 5, but with the uncontested sniper, it's going to pose a massive problem for the Czechs, and they're just going to run with Tails between their legs as we do have pressure coming back in from them actually that full uber charge i think they're trying to force out pixel here but just by dealing as much damage as possible I and mean, they've got what they wanted and they got two frags on top of it but ghetto dying in the uber is going to be not great for the check team to say the least but at least you haven't capped the point or at least you haven't lost the point sorry from the check team's uh, perspective yeah, I, I think they were just a bit kind of caught in the moment over on Saudi Arabia. Like, everybody was kind of tagged, they couldn't really sustain themselves, and uh, they didn't neither fight nor defend, uh, well, because there was nothing really to defend. They only kind of pressured the point, the scouts were just too tagged or missing in action. Yeah, and now we do have an equal Uber charge situation. Gedu dying in that Uber was the saving grace for the Saudi Arabian team, but they are one down in a six versus five. X Hunter is going to jump in. SNH is going to trade out for him as Yusef gets a nice pipe. But we do now have an advantage for the Czechs as they have a bit of uh, faster spawn time as the bomb comes in from Kelhab picking up Yusef pretty much he's on two health he's out the fight for now gets a bow but Kelhab onto center in the back line Misha's gonna go down as well as Orange and Faisal collapse onto him but with the full uber charge they're not gonna be able to contest this point just because there's so many down they're gonna have to use it with Jerkas in their face as the trade comes out but the checks have managed to cap the point yeah, the, uh, the Uber should go towards the check at this point. Although, base guard is very deep and this team doesn't really want to back him up. He's going to be left uh, uh, dancing to the walls and, uh, but, well, fortunately he's got his own walls. His wolf pack has finally come in in the collapse uh, post there. Maybe just base guard hoping to just kind of spend all his ammunition, be a delicious bait for his scouts to clean up. Yeah, I'm not that fight was an extremely messy fight there. Pixel dying at the end as well to Jerkas's scattergun as we have the checks now down to 10 seconds on their timer. The Saudi Arabian team having to find something. Hunter's going in really early, doesn't find anything, and he's all alone, so he's not going to have any backup. No damage is going to be cleaned up on as we do have Gedu dying on the point. It's going to be a three versus five, though, and with Pixel down weak, he's going to get cleaned up, and now it's just going to be a matter of time before the checks get these final frags and get their second round on the board. Uh, we're just waiting for that last little bit of tick of overtime. Hunter could, could still keep it going. Orange Juice uh, tapping the point as well. There's hope and lives still for all this Saudi team. <gasps> base God with the base pipe gets a screamer across the point and will deny uh, that demo man from having any sort of impact. And this is surely curtains. Indeed it is, and that's the second round to the checks. It's been about the same amount of time off the clock, I think. A slight improvement in that second round over the first for the Saudis. So they're going in the right direction, but they've got to certainly step it up into these next 
up to three rounds, but it's looking like the Czechs wanting to end it 3-0. Yeah, this isn't quite the thrashing that people might have expected. They are being competitive here. I do like some of their ideas. The only worst aspect is when they have to go suicidal over on... They don't, they don't really seem super coordinated when it comes to those sort of suicide waves over on Saudi. We have now got a heavy on the side of the Czechs. They've got rid of that sniper and brought Misha out on the heavy. Different hit scan class just soaking up all the bullets. Hunter going down as the first frag of the round. Misha with the Tommy Slav though is just dealing so much damage across the point. So much of that sustained damage across the board and Pixel dies at the end. The Czechs are just now going to be capping it up, I imagine. No, it seems that they just want to play some DM and they're not capping the point. Uh, yeah, they, I guess, didn't expect the switch up on Misha. They were a uh, center soldier behind, which I can only assume was trying to call space or look for the sniper, but he wasn't there anymore. He's come back as the heavy weapons guy, and uh, he also does, like, a, a pseudo job of, like, two scouts, just kind of pressuring from that point with the uh, all that hit scan. And uh, that allows the three up the scouts to actually help out on the flank and deal with these pesky soldiers behind, and they just snowboard it from there. Yeah, they have lost two. They've lost Kelhab and Jerkas. Misha is now just sitting on top of uh, the house by China, just getting ready to mow down anything that comes his way. But he's now isolated, but taking on Yusef and picks him up as well. So that's going to be three frags for the Saudis, while only uh, two are down for the Czech. Misha is just about cleaned up. He goes down to one health before he is finally uh, finished off and now the checks have been pushed back they do have an uber charge disadvantage as well with uh, base god now picking up the sniper rifle it feels like that they are just having a bit of fun but maybe that's going to bite them in the butt i mean uh, we've now got misha switching off to demo man so i guess he's just trying to get the full bingo card at this point um <laughs> But to uh, snipe base god, I've never seen this in action. And oh, my god, he opens no. with a body shot onto the uh, onto the medic. Where's the sniper class been on for you, my friend? Yeah, I mean, maybe he's never got it before just because he's demo man, but that hasn't stopped him today. He gets a crucial drop onto Pixel. Gedu, uh, I think, had to use an Uber there. Uh, or I don't exactly know what he did. Oh, he, I think he picked up uh, Pixel's Medigun, but it had nothing in it. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah. it's back to an equal situation here, no matter, as we now have the checks holding forward. Kelhab going down, though, as the first casualty, and Gedu's oh. the second. So it's looking good for the Saudis in this fight, whereas we do quickly lose two, but Faisal picking off base squad. I think that's the third sniper uh, for the Saudi Arabians this game so far and it's just gonna be pixel with the large human charge advantage here but the Saudis still haven't capped the point well that's gonna change right now because I I mean this is just kind of a little bit of a feat uh, from check it's just seeing the advantages or dis disadvantages as I should say of running that sniper you don't have anybody really covering that middle door compared to like a, a roaming soldier or I think along that end Indeed. So now we do have the Saudis just playing back. They got a sniper on the rock, Highlander esque, as we have the uh, X Hunter in the back lines on the opposing China, having to jump out as they do lose Orange. So it's now five versus six. They do have that Uber charge. Faisal picking up Gedu with a nice body shot, returning the favor as now the counter sack probably wanting to come in the checks trying to walk forward trying to pressure onto pixel is below that uh, above that 100 threshold so gonna have to be dealing more damage as we have Kela pressuring through uh, connector and they just have not found anything yet Kel has actually in onto pixel nice surf away though onto the uh, onto the cliff and it's gonna be a nice nice hold for the Saudi Arabian side yeah, they're taking the time over on uh, the Czech Republic team. I think they're just really trusting in the fact that somebody will feed in like Orange Juice there. Now it's Hunter's turn to feed in as well. I don't know why they need to rush things. They're getting very nice time with this. And if they are going to rush in, why not use that Uber advantage? Yeah, with uh, the point on, you don't want to be losing those players because you're going to have that longer spawn time and you just want as many players alive as possible. But this soldier coming in, Kelhab's in the back line now, Sento and Faisal taking that 2v1. Orange is going to take it on, but it's Faisal losing the SVS as we have Kelhab now falling with Yusef oh as well. Hunter gets air shot. I think that was Misha showing why he's picked up that demo man class. And we do now have a trade of Uber, but Pixel is just getting absolutely denied. Never mind, he gets surfed oh my away. God. Misha just grants Thanks, him Misha. the gift 
of life as we have the checks recap the point of the sound. He's taking two minutes off the clock in that. Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit of a gift from uh, Czech Republic. They were kind of feeding in on SNH and whatnot, and the soldiers jumping in behind enemy lines. I mean, even at the best of situations, they're just making trades, so not really the ideal for the Czech Republic. But it's hard to kind of draw what's a mistake here and what's, you know, just kind of being lazy. Yeah, it's also just from Nations Cup shenanigans as Fives picks up Jerkus in the lieu of Hunter going down. SNH is also going to be that's two scouts oh, and now a demo man down. So Orange is going to get that key frag as Faisal falls as we have one minute left on the clock for the Saudi Arabian side with 13 seconds on the clock for the checks. Gedu with a solid Ubercharge advantage but with 75% Pixels probably going to get this on the recontest as we have checks coming in. We have Kelhap on the cliff behind but Orange trying to take the fight but gets absolutely directed out of that and with now 99% with no one to heal. Pixel just oh, no. in the house. No. Just needs one player. He ran away from his team if he'd stayed with his team he would have got the uber they would have held the point most likely because the uber would have been so much better but it's now 10 seconds on the clock with gedu picking up pixels uber it's going to be game over for the saudis as checks take map one uh yeah i mean well played i i think i mean this i'm gonna be as fair to both of these teams check obviously knew exactly what to do and even when it didn't look like they knew what to do it was just them kind of like kicking their feet up a bit and Saudi they weren't doing incorrect things there were aspects of like oh there's a sniper I'm gonna pressure him and jump him and like oh we'll rock this our own sniper and we'll get picks off from that it was just a couple you know little holes in the overall arching TF2 so mainly when it came down to what do we do when the enemy has uber and we don't and uh maybe uh coordinating how we go for these certain attacks like who's gonna uh do these fake jumps or you know kind of relieve pr pressure without dying indeed i think probably one of the main things there was just the the constant like feeling of one or two players on the side of saudi with people just getting caught behind or going too deep or going too early or something like that it just meant that the checks had often just a man advantage and we're just able to capitalize on top of that feeling really comfortable even switching up the classes towards the end of that third round um but if we have a look at the logs i think it tells a pretty pretty <laughs> i'd say interesting story a one-sided story uh, certainly as we have 104 kills on the side of the checks to the 51 of the Saudi Arabian side so more than twice that um, and a 50% extra amount of damage pretty much um, for the uh, for the checks as well um, pretty much everyone going ham um, on the side of the Czech Republic so I mean base god wasn't uh, wasn't a bad person to watch but it seemed like everyone was a pretty good per uh, player to have the cam on that game for the checks yeah, there was just, again, just times where everyone was like letting their hair hang loose a bit, playing it really kind of cool, calm, collected. Um, I think the main problem from the Saudis was just the soldiers, where they felt like they would have a very impactful moment, say, in the first moments of the game. And then they'll think like, wow, that thing I did earlier was so good. I'm just going to do it again, even though the situation has changed. Like, you know, you don't need to go behind anymore or you don't need to pressure that sniper because there isn't one anymore. And it's just a very you know, common mistake to have. You just obviously want to go with what's working. But uh, that's the thing about product. It's a very fluid and dynamic. Indeed it is. One thing to point out is Pixel, um, although his team uh, got f fewer than half the kills, he actually only died four more times than Gedu, um, his, his opposing med, so doing a pretty good job of staying alive, despite the fact that his team were falling all around him, so definitely props towards Pixel. Uh, on a map-like product, if, you, if you're not dying too much more than the med enemy medic when your team's not getting even half the kills, it's a, that's a pretty impressive feat. Yeah, it was a nice surfing moment from Pixel. Uh, Gedu was more the victim of just some random person at a random place at a random time and uh, obviously some sniping as well is always a pain and a headache and usually if you're coming in as a team uh being brushed up to what to do against a sniper uh, product is very complicated especially you know 
because obviously the sight lines change and credit to the snipers of Saudi. They weren't going for the atypical China plays and whatnot, which is a bit very totally. They were playing by rock. They were very upfront. Sometimes it was the sniper was the most forward player on the team, uh, whether that be Sento or uh, Fasal. So yeah, it was must have been a, a bit annoying for Gaydu, or at least with the Czechs. Yeah, like you were saying, sniper often a headache, but sometimes also a body ache, as we found out. But uh, moving on to our second map of Granary here, uh, checks once again taking that red team. Saudi is looking to be stacking on the blue team, I imagine. Um, is it going to be more of the same of this? Uh, maybe might even see some sniper to mid from <laughs> God, <laughs> from God Lucas no. or <laughs> God, God no, God no. The sniper's awful on this map. Maybe not so much in in the sense of like, oh wow, I can't get a sniper on mid because I mean he can't, but it's also one of the longest maps in the game. So when you roll out, you just take so long to get there. So by time I think you would actually get to the mid as a sniper, the, the mid's over. It's over. Um yeah. It it is a pretty long walk. On last we'll probably see a bit of sniping oh, of coming yes. out, but uh on mid as you said. I imagine probably not. Uh Jerkas on spy in the pregame, which is his Highlander specialty, so it'll be interesting to see if he whips that out at all. Might be running the revolver dead ringer combo he is most well known for uh in Premiership Highlander. So uh would be a bit of an interesting turn of events don't usually see some spy and sixes but we'll have to find out as we'll hopefully have the teams readying up uh fairly soon um but you know you never know maybe there'll be a 10 minute break for no apparent reason just like uh just like half the games in the premiership i mean i don't really mind the spy too much in maybe just the regular connect to connect tf2 but just i i would just advise against it going mid it's just too slow it needs it doesn't have any sort of like movement ability to kind of propel it from point a to point b and usually a lot of these mids can be decided about just getting to point a so much quicker than team b so but the sni uh, the spy is not anything to be snubbed at when it comes to just hanging about like that pistol can hold its own it's really obnoxious surprisingly at that mid-range where a lot of these sort of mid-ranges will be happening in these sort of full defenses between second and mid and then maybe just having these spies kind of smell out a good opportunity and that prem level is obviously going to kick in somewhere where maybe you can take these wild rides and hell just just to put a spanner in the works put, make something that they're not is not usual for these Czech players that they've played millions of times before. Uh, yes, as we do wait for that aforementioned last Czech player, Gedu, to join the team. Uh, it seems like everybody's ready up with five players on the server. Okay, getting ready to unready as the all, all the configs are now unloaded and everyone's back at their spawns because SoapDM is no longer active and. Uh, we go back to waiting for Gedu to rejoin the team. I mean, it's fine. Like, it's not like, you know, they've played through a huge amount of TF2 and we've been here all night, you know. They've uh, they've been quite tidy on time. They've actually started relatively on time when it comes to ETF2 rules as well, which is always a nice thing and kind of a pro about these sort of outside Prem situations where Prem players are starting to get that sort of celebrity status. It's like, I don't care. I'll just turn on when I care. <laughs> they can't make me turn up. <laughs> yeah, they should be paying me warning. to turn up. <laughs> Major warning. How Mental about ETF to all? You pay me my mouse mats from like five years ago, and then I'll join the server. <laughs> pay me my five euros prize money. <laughs> As we uh, once again still just waiting. Checks winning 3 0 on products. The first map of this second round match between them and Saudi Arabia. Um. Don't usually see too much from the Saudi Arabian players, seeing as it is ETF too well. So it's lovely to see them here once again in the Nations Cup number 10, as we just wait for the teams to ready up for the second map of Granary. I was spying at their uh, the little ETF to well profile, and they've got little fun little things on there, like a nice little uh, kind of edited image of uh, their entire team. There was even like uh, a little nod to a funny film and all that. And I, I basically, I think they're coming into this Nations Cup with the uh, perfect attitude, which is just like enjoying yourself, having fun. And you'll be surprised how much that can sail away from you. You will play better at this game if you are happy. 
if you were enjoying yourself, if you're just kind of overall content, it's usually the ones that are tilted and angry and, you know, maybe feel like they've got some pride on the line. They're like, oh, I shouldn't lose to this team or I shouldn't have lost to that scout in that instance. And they start trying to prove something and doubling down and feeding and tilting. And yeah, but fortunately for Czech, they haven't had that situation come up for them yet. But, you know, I mean, if they roll enough dices over on Saudi, it, it might, could turn that way. Yeah, you never know. People do sometimes get too big for their boots, but uh, Czechs haven't shown any sign of that. Well, they might have brought about a bit of a class change to uh, show the starting sides of that, but it seemed to go well enough for them to uh, not lose a round quite on product. But okay. I am, I do have it on good authority will be starting soon ghetto just joining and their teams are readying up they found that f4 key ghetto found the team he needs to join as we do now have our second map of granary checks once again in the red southeast in the blue we have pixel starting off on the crits creek yeah i mean again unusual tf2 get them out the comfort zone just get the ball rolling and uh go for those miraculous uh, tf2 moments and wow the uh yusuf actually beating out lucas on speed. Yeah, and getting some nice stickies early on as well. Lucas now getting the pack where Yusuf's brought down. Weak Orange is the first frag to go down. Faisal is on top of Gedu, and it's going to be all five players on the Saudi Arabian side other than the medic just landing on top of uh, Gedu there, but somehow the Czech med surviving, and now with a full Ubercharge advantage, and zero players up as they barrel towards that last point. Uh, Jekas going back for the cap here, but uh, it's looking like a really strong start for the Czechs here. Yeah, um, Hunter and uh, Faisal just keeping simple TF2. They were just like, uh, see medic, kill medic on mid. That was their objective. It just didn't work out this time. It was all kind of penciling in on those double soldiers going for the double sack. Did not work out. And no scouts kind of let Pixel kind of ta scout taxi out, which is usually atypical. They kind of went all in. Yes, and the Uber is now traded in as we were used in, not even traded in, sorry, the Crits Creek is going to be Pixel's saving grace um, that he's trying to get, but it's not going to be. Lucas is the only player to die uh, on that last push, and it's going to be Chex now capping that first round out. A really strong start from them here, as we have 28 minutes and 20 seconds, so that's 1 minute 40 for the first round, that's, uh, that's pretty speedy from them. Yeah, pretty speedy indeed. I mean, the only thing I would kind of advise Saudi to do there is maybe use that spawn a bit more, abuse it, kind of rotate out. You can always go back and like quickly banny bind and just rotate back into the fight, take another fresh buff to kind of enter the fight again and make that last even harder. Once again, Lucas losing the demo, demo versus demo there, getting forced back. Hunter getting a nice rock on to Gedu and Kelhab and Jerkas actually going down. That's tr Frags trading out left, right and center for both teams. It's a three versus three, a scout and a demo versus a scout and a soldier. And it's going to be Pixel that's the one that's going to fall. Misha gets a nice rocket as we do now have Misha getting cleaned up. We have Yusef uh, finally okay. falling. And so it's SNH and Gedu with Sento on the scout. It's actually just looking to be possibly spawn camping some of the checks here. Yeah, it was a strong start from uh, Saudi Arabia, but they just kind of overextended. A, it's that ultra-eyed true, true trail where you feel like, oh, wow, we got two kills up. We should be snowballing them. And they go into these sorts of danger zones or overcommit past the point of doom. And yeah, just chasing the frags on the med too hard there. That was a case of like, see medic, chase medic. And that's not, that's too much in that granary mid. Yes, we have Hunter on the spy though. He's been seen but not realized he's a spy. He's going behind Ghetto. Ghetto realizes he's gonna have to force the Uber else he get backstabbed and it actually could have forced this Uber out to go down. Orange and Hunter are actually dead in the water, but that's something you gotta try it out for that Uber every day of the week. Yeah, but they're going to come back in. They're not going to come in this completely dry. They uh, really need some sort of uh, class like a heavy weapons guy to deal with all this aggressive player. Though. There's, they're just trying to trade in the mouth and there's not enough bodies on the point ready to block it. And the only thing, lifeline they have is like Yusuf is keeping himself alive for way too long than he needs to be. Allows some time for the scouts to come back, but they uh, again just feed onto the point trying to block it and it makes it easy mincemeat for base guard. Yeah, it was a 
good start on that last for that last hole by the Saudis, but losing two and then not getting a heavy or a similar class is just not good enough from them. And it means that checks with four minutes into the game are two rounds up. It's looking like a really strong snowball for them so far as we have the third mid coming out. Will Yusef get the better of Lucas uh -oh. once again? No. No, he will not. Lucas early with a sticky on the pack gets that demo frag and it's just going to be bombs coming in. This is where you're going to be snowballing as we have Sento and Orange going down. There's no scout for the medic to taxi out from. It's just two soldiers make that one as we now just have Faisal and Pixel oh running away. Does get the frag onto Misha, but with Pixel on the crits creek and Gedu on the Uber, this is going to be an interesting last hold attempt as we have Lucas now coming in with the soldier. Kelhab's going to try to pick Ooh. off Yusuf, but it's a nice uh, headshot from Orange. It's a massive frag there, and to actually be able to hold this out, they're not even going to get second due to those frags. They've got a crits creek as well, bubbling away in the back. They've also got a spy. What? I mean, they got a spy, a sniper, and a crits creek. This, this is some interesting gameplay to say uh, the least. Crits the sniper is like a guaranteed headshot. But it's with a bodies. real gun. As we have Lucas going down, this crit sticky going oh, no. out, and Vizor gets denied. Misha with the direct hit. Orange is also getting taken out from the sniper class as we have Jerkass now in the back line oh, does no, get killed. Hunter is found out on the spy and it's going to be an absolute collapse. Sento's the last one up just trying to survive, delay the Czech team, hoping that his team can spawn early enough to try to block this last point. The spy and sniper are not good at holding flanks. Who could have seen this coming? Oh no. <laughs> this time Orange not with the air hedge on to kill. There we go. We've got a heavy now. Let's go. <laughs> heavy comes out. This is going to make the Czech team think twice as you were alluding to. And they are actually just going to back up. They have a large Uber charge advantage. About 50%. It's even Crits Creek from Pixel. So uh, it's going to be a really strong uh, attempt here. Hunter's going forward with the shotgun heavy. Yeah, I uh, I mean, brave, brave soul. I, I wouldn't have seen it coming if I was over on check. And uh, they were going to pop in pretty early now. Easy sentry going to get cleaned up. Actually takes out the set engineer first. Very smart from uh, uh, from base guard. And oh, even cleans up the pipes onto the heavy weapons guy as well. Now they just need to kind of solidify, keep themselves all buffed up and healed up. They do have a sniper though, unturned or orange juice. That's going to allow them to... And the crit screen comes out. It pays off. I'm just running that crit screen for so long. <gasps> the pipes from base god though. The long range has managed to snipe him out. And SNH is being such an annoying person to deal with against this demo man. Sento is mad. He's angry. He wants to find revenge. But where is the, the poor victims? <laughs> Nowhere to be found for an absolute crazy turn of events. The crits comes out. The demo man doesn't find anything, so Pixels thinks, screw this. SMG sniper all the way. It gets a couple oh. of frags, but <laughs> then they lose their demo to the uh, bow. And this is going to prompt a repush in from the Czech team, but they lose two to Hunter on the heavy. And with Lucas up in the sky, raining down, does clean up that heavy. It's just going to be Yusuf and Sento to deny this point. Sento does get oh. Lucas, but with Pixel is the only one up after he falls. It's not good enough, and the Uber and the Cap come out, and now the Czechs lead three rounds to one. It's going to be a, it's going to be, it's going to be a hard time for the Saudis to come back. I feel. Oh no, we're sipping at the Kool Aid. Uh, Jerkass is going st uh, spy straight from the get go. Let's see if uh, if what I say is correct, but who knows? He might be able to make it up in a timely manner, but. Yeah, it was just a case of just people causing a couple of sins on that last point. That the soldier going behind when his team really needed him in the foreground. Yes, mid coming out. Jerkass now on the spy, as you said. Bring out some Premiership gameplay against the Medic. Oh. You were wrong. <laughs> so that's going to be Pixel falling to the spy. Um, some crazy gameplay now as we do have Yusef and Faisal so weak. They are now cleaned up. Um, <laughs> although Jerkass falls at the end of that, it's just oh game over. Oh my god, Misha <laughs> with an absolutely massive direct. It. It just, I think that was blind as well. He just like smelt him in the air. <laughs> There's a scout trying to leave. How dare he? Those freshly squeezed oranges going all over Granary mid <laughs> Misha is to blame as we now have the checks with once again a spy and Crits Krieg on both sides. So this is an absolutely I don't know. This could this this anything could happen. 
I heard uh, you can get concentrated orange juice, but that guy was not concentrated at all. Misha's got a kill under the demo man. Does get traded out. Kelhab goes down and Sento now falls. Jerkass with the revolver. You were saying that mid range capability is incredible. Underrated as we have oh, the, crits the crits coming out. Gedu drops to the soldier. Oh. Misha falls as well. And with Lucas being the only one alive. Now Pix is going in. He's going in, taking the 1v1 with Stab the spy. Him, got him. But he's oh, just he's getting too sauce. <laughs> yeah, he's 50 Lucas is again. behind, doesn't realize Pixel goes oh, down. Oh my god, he gets two kills. <laughs> What is going on? This is an absolute clown mess. Master. <laughs> I was going to say something I probably shouldn't, uh, but <laughs> in the end of all of that, Gedo's back on Ubercharge with a nice Ubercharge advantage. Jerkas still on the spy, and uh, the Saudi Arabian team still on their second. He's got his spicicle as well. He's ready for any pyros that are going to come busting in through this game. I mean, I wouldn't expect expect any less at this point. Well, Hunter is a uh, RGL many-time Premiership winner um, on that Pyro class um, for Highlander, so certainly not out of the question as we have the DR coming out from Jerkas, but he decloaks too quickly with Yusef getting a frag and with Lucas dying quickly, it's going to be X Hunter is going to get traded out, but it's a five versus four, so it's looking like a pretty good opportunity here for the Czechs as they do have that Uber. Pixel goes down, SNH finding two, and it's going to be a nice cap out for the checks here, I imagine, with Gedu stealing that Crits Krieg. It's almost charged. Sento falling to Misha. He's absolutely unstoppable with this direct hit. Is he going to get the Crits? Let's find out as we have Faisal going down. Oh my. He's out of ammo, in fact. He has nothing. He's killed everyone. As the Crits comes out, Hunter falls. That heavy is just not good enough as he's going to get chasing onto that right side, picks up Yusuf, and that's nothing to stop them from capping up the point as Czechs get the fourth round on the board. I'd imagine this is like the interpretation of what a pub person thinks competitive TF2 is like. It's like, oh yeah, they just switch at these, oh, they're dynamic, and of course they'll get the Crits Creek out then, and yeah, you need the direct head soldier to deal with the sniper, and it's <laughs> just, just, truly, it's like, you can't write it. I mean, we're, we're certainly looking like a pub here with a with a pyro, like I said, Hunter That's bringing it. out his get, prem Yusuf, get off Demo, demo Man, we, we have, need a counter spy. <laughs> we have no one on scout or soldier for the Saudis. A pyro, a demo, a heavy, an NG, a, a medic and a spy. Not often you hear what I, you have to say, apparently, what they're running now in sixes. Oh my god, they didn't go to mid. The genius game. The spy can always catch up, but he dies anyway. <laughs> Orange falls to some stickies, and we have a <gasps> mini Widowmaker engineer. I don't know what's going on at this point, but the Saudis, unsurprisingly, um, losing mid there. I mean, that probably would have worked. The Chris the, comes the, out, the mid. They didn't go to mid. <laughs> Pixel. <laughs> Pixel is whipping his own substance, copium. Oh, no. I mean, he was trying to heal himself for the 11 health the Crits Creek heals there, but certainly was not enough to survive two rockets. And now Orange on the sniper, uh, Yusuf on the spy, and Faisal on the demo are the last players alive. The last hope for the Saudi Arabian team as we have the Czechs swarming towards the point, slowly capping it out as we have Lucas capping it out for his team. GG, well played, coming out in the chat. Um, certainly was a spectacle at the end of Granary there. We could have, we saw more than we could have ever hoped for that turbo. I certainly hope you don't think I'm going to analyse any of that gameplay that just <laughs> happened for 10 minutes. What am I supposed to say? Like, okay, I mean, maybe the switching off your demo wasn't the greatest call in the world. Maybe if you were going to rock the engineer, maybe not have a mini sentry. That's your only sort of backbone defense. And I assume the whole reason they gave up that mid was to just do some gimmick play. And the thing is, I've seen that gimmick play work before. But not with a mini century. Misha's even running a direct hit. Literally, he's the boogeyman of, of mini centuries. <laughs> he, he he does indeed do. I think it's one hundred and twelve across the map or something. So they do get one shot. So mini's not the play there. <laughs> yeah, and I I don't know. They even rocket a pyro, but they have the spicicle uh, spy ready for yeah. them, or, or they must have Hard looked counts. at their strat before. <laughs> um.
Yeah, we did. I mean, slightly unsurprisingly towards the end there, the check starting to roll. But I think everyone seemed to be having fun. And I was certainly having fun uh, just watching the cacophony and uh, pandemonium going on as we <laughs> as we were in the Source TV uh, watching the spectacle unfolding. Well, I, I wonder if that's the sort of games where... Uh... You know, Misha now is just going to say, guys, this this direct hit has actually got some credence. I think I should just run this full time in actual 6v6. Yeah, I mean, you you do 152 to a rocker jumping soldier, so and it's practically hit, practically hit scan, right? I mean, it goes so fast. Yeah, it never misses, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the fact you deal practically zero splash damage because it's reduced by like 80% or whatever. Ignore that. <laughs> But yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what more to say. I, I my brain tells me that I'm supposed to tell the Saudi what they did wrong there, but uh, it was just a lot of stuff, kind of you know, holes in the boat there. That ship was sinking no matter what. I had they you know, had some splish splash moments of kind of uh, brilliance with the crits and whatnot, but apart from that, yeah, it was just a spectacle. Indeed it was, and certainly a spectacle, one that we have enjoyed watching tonight. Um, any last words, Turbo, before we sign off? Um, tune in for more Nations Cup. I, I, this has definitely been an opener. This is like the hook for the, the film, you know, that kind of reels you in. You're like, all right, okay. Indeed, and I think possibly tomorrow we might have some... Ooh. And more... also the Bud Cup as well. That's uh, yes. maybe more, more that... Bud Cup, more Nations Cup coming in the future. I do know tomorrow there is a game Germany versus Latvia, but I'm not entirely sure whether that's being casted. But stay posted yeah. on Essentials.tf to find out. Um, this has been Saudi Arabia versus Czech Republic. Czech Republic taking home the victory, three uh, zero on product, five zero on Granary. My name has been Harry. We've had Samus on production and turbo tabs has been my co-caster for tonight thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a great evening see you in the book cup grand final Woo!